Great art is often created by the tension between our ethnic and historic culture and the culture that we presently live in. This is the ongoing theme in this Map 2 art show at Hawaii Pacific University's Windward Campus Art Gallery. Kids, so last year we had a show, and what we noticed was all these artists use similar vocabulary, visual vocabulary, you know, why, you know, and, and then we have it inside of a university uh, setting. Well, free Captain Cook, otherwise it's not, not there, right? Hey, how are you, Mara? All right. Oh my God. I'm glad you made it. Yeah. Done it. You guys did it all. 24 years old. I graduated from Kamehameha Schools, and then I continued my education at California College of the Arts in Oakland and San Francisco. My name is Kahiao Beamer. And what are we doing here today? I'm just displaying my art with uh, Pete Fritos and everybody here. Um, I do canvases and acrylic paintings, a lot of mixed media stuff. So, what does MAP stand for? Maps, um, as it was explained to me, it was this theme was carrying knowledge into the future, I believe, something along that lines. And um, I just took it as what I've learned throughout my years and try and express that. I'm, I'm assuming that you have some Hawaiian blood. Yes. Just like that means Maori. Yeah. Seems to be a, some influence on your pieces from graffiti wall art. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's kind of where I learned to paint and become a little bit more um, open with showing my work because. You know, it goes up and it goes down real fast, and you have to just let it sit. You don't noodle with it for too long, so that helped out a lot. And things don't become as precious. These pieces, not so much. It's a lot of um, portraiture, mainly, is what I've been working on, and just trying to get an expression and carry that feeling just through ma mainly the eyes and the face. Having Hawaiian blood influences your art a lot, or it's pretty tangential? Um, it definitely influences my art. Um, you grow up learning about where you came from, um, you have a strong sense of who you are because of the Hawaiian culture and knowing that you carry it with you, even if you try not to, a lot, I know a lot of people try and shed that when they say move to the mainland, but you can't really fully shed it, you can't, it's always going to be with you, it's an inherent thing, I think. You, I mean at this point you're probably 80% something else. Oh yeah. So is, is the influence 80% something else or does it always pull you back, that line always pulls you back? I think home is something that always pulls me back. Um, the ideas of what I want for Hawaii will stay, um, what I hope for Hawaii stays. So when I project my work, it, there's something geared towards the Aina and just being home and the people here. Give me a little description of what we're looking at with Kazu's work in there. Um, I like what's going on. It's a lot more of a contemporary idea. Um, I know often when we do these Hawaiian shows, there's an idea of what you're going to see, and it's often traditional work. I like seeing the modern spin on things and the humor that I've noticed a lot of people are taking, mm -hmm. taking with that. And it seems like a lot of people are projecting ideas of the future and where Hawaii is going, which is what I appreciate. Peter's work seems to be run, running into the cartoon, not cartoon, but what do you call it? Illustration. Illustration. Yeah, definitely, and I can appreciate that. I got my degree in illustration, so I, I enjoy seeing it, especially um, with his framings, of using panels, and using that comic book type of structure. The people here, I'm excited to do new things here, um, show people that there are other venues, especially with this modern area of technology and us being able to get out and uh, learn so much about what's out there, whereas people seem to stay isolated. I, I, want, I want that more. If somebody wanted to find your work online, do you have a website? I do not have a website right now. Uh, I need to build one. I did have one, but I didn't maintain it. So it'll be back up. It'll be kahiobeamer.com again, and hopefully in the new, near future, we'll get it done. Say hello. Aloha, thank you very much.
you, man? Uh, my name is Kazu Kawinana. I'm uh, from here. I'm Hawaiian, Japanese. My mom's Hawaiian. My father's Japanese. I'm uh, 63 years old now. Uh, I went to Kamehameha up till the ninth grade. After the ninth grade, I spent time at uh, San Diego High School for one year, which was a big eye opener. Came back and finished high school at Kalani High. Uh, I then attended the University of Hawaii, Santa Barbara City College, and then later Colorado University Boulder to get my master's degree. At Kamehameha, I was known as Solomon Fukuda. Uh, then, but all my my family, my friends called me Kazu. And so after I left Kamehameha, I went by the name Kazu. Whenever I introduced myself, it was Kazu. And later on, when I got married to my, my current wife, uh, I changed my name from Fukuda to Kauinana. Kauinana is my mother's maiden name. And I chose my name for several reasons. Uh, Kazu Fukuda didn't fit my face. I look more Hawaiian than Japanese. I wanted a name that represented my ethnicity, Japanese Hawaiian. That piece was done uh, at the Bishop Museum. I took a class from Rocky Jensen, and it was on Hawaiian sculpture. Uh, most of the, the students in the class did reproductions of the tikis in the museum. Uh, I didn't want to do that, and so instead, I, I saw this tiki of a, uh, a Hawaiian, uh, I think a fertility god, and, and she looked, I think it had been stolen eventually, she had wild hair, and uh, she had very large genitalia, breast, uh, and uh, was really interesting and kind of frightening looking, but uh, that inspired me. So I made this piece uh, that I call Kahuina, and it means the returning. Do you have any advice for young artists today in the community, whether they be Hawaiian or otherwise? Yes, whether they make art or not, that they have an aesthetic awareness that goes beyond making, quote, fine art or even commercial art. It's an awareness about their community, about themselves, about how they should take an interest in, in, in what their world looks like. The world around us visually affects our thinking. As an artist, I often think it's it's not as important to say, you know, how do I want to draw this? It's what do I want to draw? Yeah, it's not how to draw. It's what are you? What do you choose to say? So I think from a Hawaiian perspective, um, art for art's sake is I don't I don't think it's as common, you know. If you're gonna create art, it's gonna it's really meant to communicate something. It has to be practical, and it has to be conveying some kind of a message. Um, and uh, I don't know if you find anything that anything outside of that, you know, in, within traditional art. Hi, my name is Solomon Enos. 